Hey, everybody. Welcome to week four. We're going to get into uh, the financials of the business this week and next week, actually. So we're going to have two weeks of doing financials. Uh, a lot of people get nervous because they, they're afraid they've forgotten how to do some of these things. I think it'll come back to you just fine um, and you'll do great. We'll actually start this week uh, with, a, with a little assignment, um, a little video uh, on financing options about how to actually finance your business. Um, and then a little assignment where you're just going to look at a few different financing options and decide which one might be best uh, for your business. Uh, then we'll get into our um, financial statements and um, which is what this video is about. Um, and we will, um, you'll, you'll build what's called a capital equipment and supply list, and then you'll get into the balance sheet and the profit and loss. With a capital equipment and supply list, um, a lot of people really underdo this in real life. And so they end up having all of these surprise expenses once they get started in business, and it really hurts their chances of, of survival. It's, it's important to say, what's everything I'm going to need to successfully run this business? And then to figure out how much those things will cost so you have a good solid estimate of what it's going to cost you to get going. Uh, it's also important uh, through this process to, to kind of think hard about which items are necessary or required and which ones are, are just, they'd be nice to have. Uh, I get a lot of people who think they need to buy a building or need to buy land right off the bat when maybe they could have worked out of their garage or out of a home office or something like that in the beginning and really save some money uh, until they started making money and then they could afford to have their own place. So that's the process of putting together a capital equipment and supply list is saying, what do I really need? And looking at, at those things. Uh, as always, there's a, a sample one that you can check out here uh, that can help you through the process. Uh, once you complete that capital equipment and supply list, uh, you're ready to create a balance sheet and a profit, profit and loss statement. So if you remember the balance sheet summarizes all of the assets, the liabilities uh, and the equity of the business. Uh, and typically when we're starting a new business, uh, what we do is we, um, we kind of do a pre-financing version, which means before I get any loans or any money from an outside person, this is the assets I have, the debts I have uh, and any equity. Um, usually your debts are zero if you haven't financed anything yet. Um, and then a post-financing, uh, which says once you once I get the money, uh, this is how I'm going to use it. And so, um, and so it kind of spells out what assets, liabilities, and equity you'll have once you have the money. Um, the PL statement's a little different. What's normal typically is that you will have a three-year projection for what your profit and loss is going to be. Uh, and in the first year, you project it by month. And that's because a new business is sort of surviving month by month. And so uh, you know, what I'll expect to see from you are projections for the first year of operations by month. And then uh, for the second year, uh, second and third years, quarterly projections. So um, that'll have the four quarters of the year. Uh, there's an example here at financials. I'm sorry, not there's, there's a sample here that shows you uh, somebody who's already done one and what it looks like. And then there's also this little financials.xls. So it's an Excel file that can help you with the formatting of things uh, if you need it. You're not required to use this, but it's there for you. Uh, as always, uh, don't be afraid to reach out. This can be a hard chapter or a hard week, I guess, for some people. So don't be afraid to, to give me a call or, or email me uh, if I can help walk you through uh, some of these sections. Have a great week and good luck.